Good morning, everyone. Uh, in the continuation of the sadhana series, this is lecture number 33. Good morning. Yes. Am I audible to you? The voice is clear. Yes. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Recording in progress. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Veer. 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 For all of us. Thank you, Veer. Thank you. So, let's start with our case. This is a case of gangrenous ulcer with fracture on left big toe. If you can uh, appreciate this image. I think it's very clear to all of you. You can see the lesion. This is patient name is Mrs. Kiran Dhawan, 59 years female. She's from New Delhi. She's married since 1990. Educational qualification, 12th pass. She left the studies in first year of the graduation. She worked before wedding as a pre-primary teacher in a local school for six years from 1984 to 1990. This is the patient's picture. So she presented, she came to me with the complaints of ulcer at the left lower limb grade 2, observed first time in November 2020. She, she called me up for this she has a she is having a problem in the left toe she told me she has an eruption on the left toe uh, just a day or two before diwali she had a fever she was having fever 101 102 ranging which was not going down both feet toes and the base of toes were numb no there was no pain in the ulcer she observed small eruptions on the toe on the skin peel off deep wound appeared as we have seen in the picture on examination, there was one more opening on the toe. On the other side of the toe also, there was one more opening and another there was in the base of the toe or in the, we can say in the feet. Appearance was pus, there was pus, which was creamy and white in tissue, was visible. There was no blackness. Odor, it was non-offensive. Tissue, slight pinkish tissue on the edge of the ulcer was there. And on seeing that image, I told them to get an X-ray done. They were too involved, whether the bone was involved or not. So, on the X-ray, it was shown there was a fracture of the grade. Okay, are we together? Are you following this? Yes. So, uh, the eruption. Eruption on the lower one third of the bow, uh, there is second complaint is there are eruptions on the lower one third of both legs since 2014. Blackish discoloration on both the lower legs, lower one third of the both legs. Small ready eruptions were there sometime. They were itching and burning. Cannot cover the legs in mm. winter also. Whenever she used to come to the clinic also, she, she used to pull up her pajamas and walking with uh, holding them in her hands. She had a uh, third complaint of recurrent pancreatitis was there. Five to six episodes of hospitalization. First major episode was in 2000 and the last in 2016. With many small episodes in between. During attack, pain in abdomen, difficulty in breathing, vomiting and diarrhea was there. And the last USG was done in 2016 which showed pancreatitic calculi also. She was diagnosed diabetic in 2000. So the physical appearance was she was lean thin with moles on right face, cheek, chin, and those moles were blackish. And the moles were only on the face, not on the body. I've asked her, she told me the moles are only on the face. 
and they are they were gradually increasing past medical history at the 5 years of age unconsciousness during fever in that head was very hot and family thought she was dead so history of fall in which the front upper teeth broke there were twice miscarriages both before first delivery in early months she she went to the doctor and said it was no issue but they didn't know why it was happening family history father expired in 2010 with cardiac arrest mother expired in 2003 with ca breast siblings one elder sister she has diabetes second brother expired because of suicide third sister diabetic fourth brother diabetic and fifth is a patient she is also diabetic so the diabetes runs in the family this one one children one boy who is having the complaint of urticaria and a history of tuberculosis physical journals thermally early she was hot now since past few years she has become chilly thirsty perspiration not much appetite good cannot tolerate hunger since childhood she said i get irritated with others are not there i start eating without them i cannot wait for never kept fast in my life not even karwa chauth she likes eating sweets chatpata food golgappe chutney etc she is fond of cooking she likes cooking sleep is good and refreshing she always has a dream of she said of large water bodies and she is bathing in them i asked her whether she was drowning or anything bad with them she said no she just sees herself bathing in them this one more thing there's a morning on sleep since past 10 12 years she said mai karhati hu neend mein and the husband wakes her up at night and because of the morning there were no nightmares nothing she said i don't know why it's happening stool regular she said i get sudden urge and soils the clothes during arguments and quarrel whenever there are quarrel at home or any heated argument is there she loses her control in the stool and the stool passes out urine regular can control the urge physical sensitivity she cannot go into the sun there is a problem of opening the eyes in the sun feels dizzy has to sit in shade it takes time to get back to normal noise no problem smell no complaints taste taste no complaints vision is also fine motion sickness sometimes nausea is there clothing cannot tolerate tight clothing anywhere in the body even in the on the upper neck chest abdomen anywhere in the body she cannot tolerate tight clothing she says she feels suffocated never had a history of epistaxis gynae and ops history menarche at 13 years of age dysmenorrhea on the early, in the early days now she has had menopause in 2017 which had she had heavy bleedings with clots 2 to 3 years before the menopause earlier the menses were regular on the whole she had no complaints earlier than the miscarriages we have, we have talked we have discussed between which are came before in the earlier months of the pregnancy now we come to the mental journals she is she is lively likes to meet people relatives easily mix up with this is easily mix up with the people like to wear new clothes jewelry footwear wanted to become a beautician but at that time parents her parents didn't allow but she didn't even force them to be again she said okay with that was good in hair cutting which she didn't learn from anywhere was good in that she used to cut hair of her knees and girls from the neighborhood she did she did it very nicely she did it good now i don't even like to get ready i don't even comb my hair for 2 3 days she even goes out to the relatives place in the night dress at a t-shirt and pajamas so that was it uh, memory now memory is getting weaker day by day doesn't remember where she has kept the things or conversation what had where she has kept the money 
and all those things. Uh, but she remembers the old things, old sayings, old things where she has old talks, old memories she, she was good of. Average in studies like cooking, cooks new dishes, learn from YouTube or other cookery shows. She, whenever she comes, even whenever she is, they talk to her, whenever she, she always tries to make new food, always trying new things. Childhood, as a child, I was very lively but not mischievous. We used to mix up with others. I had a big family, used to play with my siblings and cousins, stayed mostly at my maternal grandparents. They were living nearby only. So I used to come home in the evenings only to meet mother and mostly stayed at the grandparents up to a few years of age. Average in studies, not much ambitious, she said, I was okay. And here all the problems started with in her married life. Got married in 1990. My mother-in-law and father-in-law expired few months before the wedding. Was only lady in the house after my marriage with my husband and two brother-in-laws. Husband was very angry then and now also. Musse rukhe rukhe rehte the. When I asked her how with new wedding you had, how his reactions were, how were the relations, so she told me that musse rukhe rukhe rehte. Was dry and didn't give her much attention to me. Or care to me. He used to scold me on pretty things, throw food on me when angry. He was very hard working, used to do lot of overtime in the office. We were financially hand to mouth. My husband was the sole bread earner of the house and there were many mouths to fill. We never went out on holidays, very rarely for shopping. My brother in laws, they used to this is, uh, she told me on, they told me that my brother-in-law, they used to follow me wherever I used to go. Even when I used to go to on terraces after washing clothes to put, to dry up the clothes, they would follow me up. They would, whenever I would to go to neighborhood shops to buy, they didn't let me go. Or whenever I used to go, they used to follow me from behind. They never said directly no to me, but they used to follow me. They didn't let me go out of the house when I used to go to my parents' house. They even used to follow me. I used to feel very angry, but couldn't say much. As my husband was very angry, so I, I was afraid of him. So I stopped going out of my home. That was her reaction. She, she stopped going out. She said, I don't want to, I just want to live my married life happily. So. It's better to stay at home, why to create quarrels at home or at harmony, disharmony at home. That is the frog of the well. He told because she wanted to go out, she wanted to live, she wanted to enjoy, but because of the quarrels, because of the, the surroundings of the, the circumstances of the family, she had to stay at home. She put herself in the house. So she told me, Main kuhe ka mendak ban ke Brother-in-laws used to instigate my husband. He used to believe in them. Is there... Are you able to see the screen? Okay, we should continue. He even accused me of, husband even accused me of extramarital affair. It hurted me a lot. Even if my relatives used to come to meet me, if there was some male in the, they used to, if I sit next to some male, then he used to even think that uh, I'm having an affair with him. I am attached to that person. He used to beat me sometimes. Then I used to think, what kind of life is this? Better I should die. She never, she never attempted any kind of, she never attempted suicide or anything. Yes. But she used to get these thoughts. Every time I was, in, whenever in 2000 she got hospitalized for the first time, other than the deliveries, uh, every time I was hospitalized or I or fell ill, I, he used to scold me more that because of you I am spending, I have to spend more money, you are good for nothing like this. 
I'm very much afraid of arguments and quarrels. Every time when that happened in my house, I had urging for stool and was very difficult to control. Mostly it used to, I used to soil my clothes. I keep myself busy during illness. I do my work till my body gives up. To avoid arguments, I myself say sorry, even if it's not my mistake. I have a son to whom I'm very attached. Actually, we both are attached to each other. He cares a lot for me. Because of the temper issues of my husband, they, the son and the husband, they quarrel a lot. Mostly it's self converted into heated arguments. They don't like each other. It feels my family is breaking down. For the past few years, as the son has grown now, so now he has started saying back to the father. Because of this, there are constant fights or quarrels or heated arguments in the home. So she feels that my, my parivar too dry. I constantly try to make balance between them. Since past couple of years, the atmosphere of my home has gone down from bad to worse. Now I feel more scared. My urging of stool is increased. My control has gone down. I have started saying back now. I feel I am done with the torture of past 30 years. Our financial condition gradually improved after the birth of my son with constant fights in the home. So then I asked her what happened in the November because these fights were constantly having since past so many years. Then why, what happened in November did lead to that also. So she told me just uh, 10 days before there was a heated argument in the house in which my son insulted my husband in front of someone. Someone, somebody came to home and he was sitting there and they had an argument in front of him, which deeply hurted and which deeply hurted and angry, deeply hurted with the incident, felt my family has now broken. During illness, I like my family to sit near me, talk to me. I do my work even when I'm not well. I feel bad that they are hungry. I usually, he usually scolds me even if I'm not well. Even if I'm not well. There was one more thing that I need to add in that incident. When she said, I was so deeply hurt because the way my son spoke in front of someone to my husband that I felt that now my family is scattered. My family is now completely broken. So I was so deeply hurt, but I didn't say much. And that day also I had a diary item and I had to, I foiled my clothes that day also. Now coming back to where we were, other illnesses, I take care of them. Now, the lesion was in on the left toe, left blade toe. So, what we had to think was how the lesion was, how it looked, how the lesion was there. So, as Sir has explained, the skin lesions, after looking at the skin lesions, what we can elicit, the redness gives, shows us, if that it's very red, then it shows us anger, reddish blue, or there is some discoloration is there, then that's a suppressed anger. Scaling and desquamation, if it's there, then it's the problem with the integration. Boils means boiling anger. And if there are ulcers, then it shows deep hurt. In this case, that was there. And if there is the problem in the legs, then the lower leg especially, uh, the legs are meant for a walking, for walking. So it's the problem is she didn't have a free walk. He or she doesn't have a free walk. 
and there are the daily troubles. Feet on the dorsum side, feet are meant for walking, so there is a problem with day to day fights at home. Roj roj ka jagada. So coming back, moving ahead, left toes in a right handed person. Big toe means elder son, daughter, or mother. Second toe is second son or daughter. Third toe, it's money, money matters. Fourth is home and fifth is name and fame. Right toes, great toe is husband, wife, second toe is close friend, third is money, fourth toe is workplace, problem in the workplace, fifth toe, name and fame. If you find the nails, work, nails are crippled, then Sir has said this, once upon a time he was a tiger and now his claws has been cut off. That means he has lost his power or strength to fight back. So this was all in the case. What do we analyze? Now this is the, when we come to analysis of case, what will be the approach in this case? Is it whether you want a state remedy or a GCS? That's the first question. Second, what is the predominant miasm which is lurking behind? Third, what is the pathology? A destruction or growth or what kind of pathology is there? And last, which is the system affected? So in this case, we, I approached with this case as a state remedy initially. The miasm was sorosyphilitic. Pathology was destruction. There was a destruction going on, and the system which was affected all over was GIT, skin. Okay, we'll uh, we'll show you the we'll show get back to the slides, and I'll show you back. Yes, which is the system affected? It's GIT, skin bones and muscles. So in the organon, why we selected a for why we selected a state remedy? And yes, so aphorism number 222 in which Dr. Henmanan said, but such a patient who has recovered from an acute mental or emotional disease by just a second. But such a patient who has recovered from an acute mental or an emotional disease by the use of these non antisoric medicines should never be regarded as cured. On the contrary, no time should be lost in attempting to free him completely by means of a prolonged antisoric treatment. From the chronic miasm of the sora, which is true, has now become one once more latent, but is quite ready to break out anew. If this be done, there is no fear of another similar attack if he attended faithfully to the diet and regime prescribed for him, other than the medicine which this sir has made. Okay, so we wanted to just clarify that that this but the approach in the case was we were approaching it as a state remedy for now and followed up by the. GCS.
So these were the rubric which were considered generalities, fistula, ulcer of the skin width because there were multiple openings. There were multiple openings. Ulcers, lower limb feet. Numbness, insensibility, lower limb toes and general bone fracture. So these were the remedy which were there. Calcarea, Panion, Lycopodium, Phosphorus, Pulstilla, Salicia and Sulphur. We had to think which we had to prescribe after this. But one, it was there that these are, these are the expressions of a disease on the body, on the physical plane. Now we had to think what was going on the mind so that we can just precise, to be very precise on the prescription, we have to think what is going on the mind. So we have to think what was the same destructive pathology which was going on. So, so we added, as I said, mind of the pathology. So we took the rubric, division, body scattered about, body was tossed about to get the pieces together. There was a word as means toss it about in the bed to get the pieces together. What do you mean by this? How you can interpret this? Yes. 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 On what happened in the November incident was she used to get she but she thought she thought that my, my family has broken now. She was afraid of this because of the at the particular incident the family she said Mere parivar toot gaya. So Pella the in the first thing which was affected was the mind. She thought that my mind, in her mind that now my family has broken down. She had a deep hurt, so which led it to the ulcers. She was hurt because of the son. He spoke in, earlier what used to happen, the fight was within the family. And now it has gone out in the open. Now you used to feel that now my family is broken. And she tried to mend everything. She said, I used to make, I tried to make balance in between them. I used to pacify both of them. But now the thing has gone down. So we took it as a delusion, body scattered about, body was tossed about to get the pieces together in the bed. So the medicine prescribed was phosphorus 200. Yes, yes, Dr. Shali. Yes, there was a fear of separation. It was a fear, but it was not a fear. Now it has already, she thought it's been, it's now broken. She wanted harmony, she wanted peace at the end. But now she, she felt that now it's broken. So we had to go more syphilitic. And yes, the fear is psychosis. So now she felt it's, now she felt. Because the miasm, the pathology, the destruction which is happening, it has to match with the mind. So if there is a fear, then they, then there was, there must have been some growth, some psychotic eruption might have come up. But here in what happened, it was an ulcer, a gangrenous threatening ulcer, and second it was a fracture. Right? So it has gone ahead. She went into the syphilitic, destructive mode, right? So we had to find a rubric which was appropriate to the pathology. We tried to find it every time, okay? Should we move ahead? Yes. 
so the final rubri selection was generalities facial ulcers of skin with extremities ulcers lower limb feet extremities numbness insensibility lower limb toes general injuries bone fracture of and then we added the mind the delusion body scattered about body was tossed about to get the pieces together that's the on the prescription was that the only remedy which now came up was phosphorus so now we add now that's the what's the gcs of this case and when to prescribe and yes go back to aphorism number 222 as sir said after the recovery who has recovered from an acute mental or emotional disease by the use of these non antisoric medicines should never be regarded as cured on the contrary no time should be lost in attempting to free him completely by means of a prolonged antisoric treatment so this means as soon as the ulcer healed as soon as she is out of that trauma out of that particular pathology we have to prescribe her a non antisoric metric medicine from the to heal that chronic miasma of her take her back to the health and because the process has started now if she has ulcer now she if we do not stop her here she might develop again anything else more syphilitic than this or the similar nature to this so we have to move ahead we have to without wasting much time we have to prescribe her the gcs so first thing is now our approach is change our approach changes here so we have to think now like this how is how is her basic behavior in sora affability busy cheerful desire for company anxiety family about her these were the things the which were there since her childhood uh phosphorus 200 it was repeated few times in between we had to see we had to see how the wound was healing i had to see this if uh now you have to tell me then how should this wound heal how the healing should proceed any anyway. what do you expect when we give medicine to such kind of diseases because you have a very it's very destructive kind of pathologies yes yes ulcer should heal first but in the ulcer also how you feel that whether we are going on a right direction or a wrong direction see uh, when we when we saw the wound when i saw the wound or when any such kind of wounds appear in front of us there is lot of dead tissues there lot of dead tissue lot of uh smell pus these kinds of thing and once these things once after the medicine yes and ugliness of the tissue the tissue used if you find that tissue was looking ugly disgusting so once we after the medicine what was there the on the physical plane other than yes we we feel this and my she should feel mentally more relaxed more happy and what was and at the physical level it should be more like that the dead tissue the pus it should decrease start decreasing and whenever we used to clean the wound whenever they used to clean so other the other than pus it, it has to be more of the tissue should appear as change the color it should be as earlier it was more white 
it has to convert into pinkish reddish and there was there will be some blood coming out when cleaning and a pain in the tissue should start coming up and pain should start coming up from which direction it should from the base of the two towards the tip of the two the pain should start appearing but that that will come gradually so this is how it was progressing and whenever there was a pus or whenever i felt there were more pus or anything used to appear i used to i had given two or three doses in between according to the situation which i used to feel and i had given a few doses so coming back to the basic of her basic nature of her in sora it was affability busy cheerful desire for company anxiety family about her as she progressed in her life yes this was their desire for jewelry clothes footwear second was suspicious why do you think she was suspicious other than but on the on the contrary in the case we had the brother in laws were suspicious the husband was suspicious why should we think that she is suspicious because the the this was her version of it her version of the story that they were falling then they were the husband was suspicious or the others were thinking like this other were looking like this they were following me they were following me everywhere so on the contrary she might be the one who's more suspicious right if everybody is if some patient comes and says this person's torture me my brother tortured me that my husband tortures me the whole world is giving me tortures then the whole world cannot be wrong yes she stopped going outside because of her reaction her feeling right so this could be her behavior also no? that she is of suspicious nature that's her perception yes exactly we have to see the other way around and she had that thoughts of like when the all the fights used to say why it's better i should die she never attempted it she only had the thoughts so that psychosis encephalitic she had that moaning in the sleep that we can moaning in the sleep and we have to think that delirium diarrhea in that is she was losing her control every time a crisis appeared every time she went into crisis her stool they used to she used to get diarrhea the stool used to she used to pass stool without any control without any control autom it was an automatic feeling automatic reaction of the body so diarrhea delirium in was was a part of the sickness it was an involuntary thing involuntary out of control syphilis yes that's a perception yes so moving ahead we have to see where is the body losing control at physical level she lost the control over the stools with the situation coming and going she lost the control it was involuntary but it has to start at the mind somewhere in the mind first so 
the changes at the physical level was she losing the control over the stool and at the mental level she thought she losing the family it is my family which is breaking down parivar toot raha hai it it's an uh, you ask me why she is suspicious it's suspicious doesn't mean it's a, it was her perception we were listening to what we heard was her point her story fine what we heard was her story her side of the picture she told that my brother in law used to follow me they used to uh, instigate my husband my husband used to think like this people are thinking like this they are following me up so we have to think that is that the other way is that the everybody is following her is everybody spying on her or she is the one who feels that everybody is suspicious so we have to think as per her perception as per her mind that she could be the one who is more suspicious than the other people it could be both ways but if she has noticed all those things that they were following me they were uh, whenever i whenever i used to go and it was her perception that made her feel yes this is something they are suspicious of me so coming back to this at the mental level losing the family it feels my family is breaking down so we took the di- delirium diarrhea in there is one more rubric delirium diarrhea in chronic so this were these were the rubrics which we considered for her gcs this is at the mind morning sleep during female genital sex abortion early months i looking light at sun into the mind unconsciousness fever during and above all this the sigmo syphilitic part was delirium diarrhea so this uh, your question is she was thinking to suicide but never attempted was she had the fear of losing everyone that's why no this was not like this she had she didn't have the fear of losing everyone she was she didn't have the courage to make it the syphilis was not reached up to that point that she should commit she she must have committed the suicide so that was not out of fear that out of fear is that she said the fear of losing everyone was not is not related to the that then she must have in the fear the death of others not of herself the second you are asking me but why delirium because she is actually used to pass stool it was involuntary out of control when she didn't had control of it so whenever you lose the control when as whenever body reacts automatically to a situation and then it becomes a delirium it's an uncontrolled behavior of the body so that's why it's a delirium that it had come under the delirium rather than she used to be she said the stool uses that di- diarrhea in fear or fright that would be more soric delusion is false perception delirium is ahead of it delirium is out of control delusions are false perceptions she didn't have the delusion that she is passing the stool she had delirium the body she she passed the stool the stool were out before she used to she had any courage or any thing or she used to run to the toilet to get herself free it was instantly at that moment okay yeah thank you so here we come at the remedy 
एपिसमेल हनी भी और इसे मैंने क्यून भी तो डी मेडिसिन इट्स मेड फ्रॉम डी पॉइजन ऑफ़ अ क्यून भी फिजिकल जनरल्स जनरली हॉट थर्सलेस स्फीयर ऑफ़ एक्शन सेलुलर टिश्यूज एस्पेशली ऑफ़ आईज थ्रोट फेस ओवरीज और मोस्टली कैन से ग्लैंड्स सिक्रेटरी ग्लैंड्स Skin, CVS, urinary system, and connective tissue. The well-known effects of bee sting are burning, stinging, smarting, prickling, with redness and edema of the tissue. I cannot wish this, but most of the people in their lifetime have been bitten by once or twice by honey bees or bees. Then, whosoever have been the victim of bee bites, they know all these symptoms. So I should move ahead. In acute state, sir has put up epicenter, mental anxiety, hot, thirstless, at the physical level, edematous face, especially eyelids with frequency of urine increase, but scanty urine, angry, dominating, jealous, Sadness, indifferent, stuprous, complaints associated with urinary symptoms, loss of speech or inability to talk, that is aphasia, with fever, does not complain, shrieking in complain. Should I move ahead? So I used to say, Apis is Jiddi, J-I-D-D-I, J for Jealousy, I for Industrious, D for Dictatorial, Dominating, D for Discontented, Everything With, and I for Indifference. We will find all these qualities in our MD. Different traits coming and going at different phases of life. But yes, we'll find all these things in her. Yes, with the circumstances. Yes, that is another thing with the circumstances. So, if you think of a queen or a king, what do you think they are more vulnerable? What is what's going on their mind always at the subconscious level of their mind that they should not be dethroned? They should not be attacked. They should not lose their power. They should not lose their position. Okay. Unki sapta nahi jani chahiye. So, she is under constant threat of attack. So, she must not. So, if she has a feeling of being constant attack, then she must not project herself vulnerable. So, she should not. If, we, if people come to know if the different state or different king or another king queen came to know that she is vulnerable that is her weak point so they start plotting against him they might attack me they might dethrone me so she to hide all this vulnerability she doesn't complain it doesn't show out what's going wrong with her or in her in her territory or in her place or inside her mind so to defend to defend her vulnerability how she reacts she becomes irritable we have the rubric that she becomes irritability sends the doctor home says he's not sick she behaves cheerful simulates hilarity while he feels rest whatever going on inside her mind she cannot show it out she cannot let the people know that she is not good, she is not healthy, something is wrong with her, she cannot let other people know, and then people will start thinking her weak, more vulnerable. Well says he is when he is very sick, delirium, well declares he, delusion, well he is, later on indifference, complaint does not, indifference says nothing is the matter. 
shrieking, screaming, sharp and sudden, children during sleep, when asked what hurts, replies nothing. Talk and dispose to, desire to be silent. Obstinate, says there is nothing the matter with him. Rest in no position and no company. Should we move ahead? All of these reactions are there because she doesn't want to be dethroned by another queen. So we find jealousy in her, a common trait. Have you, do you people, have you seen the series Game of Thrones? If somebody has seen it, then they can make out the character which I am talking about now. It was the Queen Cersei. She let her son die, husband die, her daughter-in-laws die. Whenever a son used to die, she used to kill her daughter-in-law. She used to conspire against them and kill the daughter-in-law to protect her throne. Right? If you have not seen it, if you can see it, see it, watch it, and then we'll be able to know that what I'm what I'm the exact picture of how the Apis Queen is, what I'm that we are talking about. We, we can find so many reactions in and around our society, in and around our life. We can judge from them. So all of these reactions as a queen, the fear was to be dethroned. She doesn't she has a fear to be dethroned by another queen. So there is jealousy. Jealousy woman in, when jealousy goes out of control, goes into insanity, madness, females in, insanity, madness, woman in. Yeah. So the sensitivity of Apis, the soric sensitivity, doesn't want to be dethroned. This is the con this this emotion is constantly there. Sensitive general, steel pointed directed towards her. How we how we should interpret this? Yes, we'll go. We'll go. We'll definitely. Uh, when we move ahead, we'll definitely try to differentiate with other remedies. But right now, with the sphere of with the time allotted, yes, we'll just have to complete this. And once the things over, we can go back to this, the differentiation with the platinum. Okay. So the steel pointed direct, directed towards her. What's the steel? What's the the sword made of? Swords are made up of steel. So whenever, whenever uh, we have seen in the movies or whenever anyone used to challenge somebody, they used to point the sword towards them. Let's fight. Let's settle it down. Right? So that was our sensitivity. So the defense to that sensitivity was irritability, questioned when. Irritability sends the doctor home. Says he is not sick. Cheerful, simulates hilarity while he feels rest. Offended easily. Rest in no position and in no company. Starting, startled, noise from. Starting, startled, sleep from. Starting, startled, noise from, sleep in. Starting, Fright from and as from fright. Think, if we put ourselves in the position of a queen or think like her, then to, to maintain, to, to hide this, these are the reactions of the body, of the reaction of a person who feels inside vulnerable. So to hide this soric sensitivity, the psychosis comes in. 
delusion people beside him are death thoughts of fear pins pointed sharp things of fear poison being fear sleep would sleep to go to because if she go to sleep people might come and suffocate her choke her and they attack at her head at night she might been poisoned we have seen in so many movies the kings the queens they have given the poison in the food or anything and they can die out of it so she has fear of all those things the defense is she become aphasia busy sensorious critical contradict disposition to discontented everything with dictatorial dominating he refuses to he refuses to eat and drink eccentricity excitement bad news after hurry haste impatience jealousy jealousy woman in jesting aversion to mood changeable obstinate declares there is nothing wrong with her restlessness tossing in bed desire to get out talk in disposed to desire to be silent suspicious mistrustful weeping everything about so these are the psychotic defense she should hide her to in in process to hide her fear in process to hide her insecurities this is how she projects herself can we appreciate it with the sora on the baseline going on with the case or baseline going on with the remedy so the syphilitic defense anguish awkwardness break things borrow trouble always find trouble death conviction of death desire of death presentiments of delirium sleep during delirium sopor with delirium maniacal delirium violent delirium well declared she is delusion dying he is fear death of predicts the time of death indifference agreeable things to indifference complaint does not insanity woman in insanity females in insanity madness busy insanity erotic are you with me yes. so other few more are there nymphomania shrieking screaming sharp and sudden children during sleep when asked what hurts replies nothing okay shrieking sudden striking himself shrieking sudden striking himself stupor alternating with mania unconsciousness alternating with erotic mania unconsciousness alternating with escape desire to unconsciousness shrieking with unconsciousness shrieking with sharp voice unconsciousness shrieking with sharp voice violence
question. Did you ask, you ask me what is delirium sopor? Sopor is is an abnormal is a state of abnormal deep sleep when you are not at rest during the sleep also. So think of her as a queen which is which feels he now her throne is about she is about to lose her throne. She is about to get attacked. So these are these will be the automatic behavior that she'll lose her sleep when she loses her peace of mind. She goes into delirium, her sleep is restless, or she is moaning in the sleep, she is tossing, turning, she is getting nightmares and what not in the sleep. So the so this is delirium sopor. Okay. We move ahead. Elements from there are few elements. Elements from anger, anticipation, bad news, celibacy, excitement, emotional, jealousy, mental shock, rage, fury, sexual excess, mental symptoms, suppressed eruptions from. So the other syphilitic deliriums which were there was delirium congestion with delirium diarrhea in delirium diarrhea in chronic delirium fever during delirium menses during delirium menses during menstrual difficulties with delirium sleep during and muttering sleeping. Okay, so this was in short about the epis, which I could gather and discuss it with you. So now I'll show you the follow up of follow -up picture of the feet, the patient, how it ended up, and I hope you'll appreciate it. Uh, example of delirium means it's a reaction it's an uncontrolled reaction of the mind with or the body so in this case only well if you, if you want an example of a delirium is if in this particular case only she used to uh, the body was losing control at the physical level she used to uh, have she used to lose her diet she used to have diarrhea whenever she had to she had she went into any any in any unfavorable condition or she used to whenever she used to have in some awkward situation or in quarrels or in arguments so the reaction of the body was out of control and so it was a it was not a matter of one or two happening only not once or twice it was a constant effort, constant reaction of the body every time every time she had this she had to go under this circumstances her body used to react like this so this is the delirium uh, I don't know where, from where did you left uh, from where did you join Dr. Shilpa you can just uh, show me, I'll just show you those slides. You'll just let me know. New slides. Okay. So, uh, I'll just go back to. So, Thank you for listening me. Thank you for having me and giving me an opportunity to, to share my case, share my experience with you people. 
Yes, uh, this lecture. Yes, I don't. I know. I don't know whether it will be available on YouTube. You can just confirm it with Amit in Mumbai and the predictive. So they'll be in better position to say when it will be available. Not you can. Yes, if it is available, you can use it and you can just re re listen to it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.